Charlie. Charlie, are you hungry? <coughs> You're hungry? <coughs> are you starting? <coughs> Chimney what? fell down the well. I don't want your baby, Charlie. Give me the baby. Whoa. Charlie. Do you have any more ice, sir? I do, ma'am. Can I have it? I... Oh, stop with the puppy. Come here, Nixie. Come here, Nixie Noodle. Noodle Roni, come here. Come here, Nixie. Quit, quit petting her. Charlie? <coughs> That's it. Charlie, go eat. <coughs> there you go, sir. Charlie? Come here, Nixie. What? <coughs> Howdy, 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 everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa here. You were recording? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, jeez. Teresa here with... Brad. And? What's your name? <laughs> Is that your name? Is your name Charcoaly? Or... Blue the Head? Or... <laughs> okay. Holy moly, that's his baby. One of his babies. Oh, look at the hair. Howdy, 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 ow. Howdy, ow. It's two, 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 2021. 20, you guys don't know that? February 22nd, 2021. It is Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. At. <coughs> Crap, I'm bleeding like crazy. 6.46 p.m. It's the p.m. Don't. Mm. Don't make me harm you. Yes, I will harm you. I thought I would come on here and do a video. Be easier than trying to individually tell everybody different stuff. I had my cardiologist appointment today. Yes. Um. I'm trying to enhance your viewing pleasure. What in the heck is this now? There we go. It's not a bald spot. See, look at that. It almost looks like it is, but it's not. See, look. Swammo. Whammo. We might be cutting Brad Heidi's hair. Not on here. But he hasn't decided yet. One minute he wants me to. The next minute he's not sure... So, anyway, can I have ice, please, sir? Yes, I'm really thirsty. I'm to get because I had to be in the doctor's office for hours with no beverage. Because my coffee was left attended by Mr. Heidi. And i surprised there was any left. Because how many hours? A couple hours. <laughs> Two and a half hours. You wanted to come. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of the doctor's offices, they didn't have any signs about not is that you couldn't have anybody with you, okay. and, and a lot of people did, you know. Because, I mean, cardiologists, they're going to potentially might tell you either good news or bad news. Yep. Come on. So anyway, um, Come on, yeah, Come on. Chinese food we had for dinner. They always, if you live in North Carolina and you live in a Rocky Mountain area, you go to Rainbow Garden, actually more in the Sharpsburg area, right by Food Lion or in that shopping place, they will give you, well, this is your rice, but it, and I know it doesn't look very big, but it is packed in there like a solid brick, man. Then, this is, and I ate, but, and this is just packed full, couldn't have any more in here. This is the happy family I like because it's got the beef, pork, chicken, um, Imitation crab and shrimp, and it's very good. And then all kinds of vegetables, broccoli and, you know, all the different stuff. And then this is their quart of um, egg drop soup, which Brad and I really both like. And we both had some of this. And then Brad had a container just as big of sesame chicken, and we'll be eating on this all day tomorrow, too. Yep. So, um... I could do a lot worse. Really like my doctor. I'm not surprised. Specialists are always running behind. What's her What's her last name? Mountjoy. Okay. 
Um, really like her. We went over a lot of stuff. They did an EKG, of course, the blood pressure, and all that kind of stuff. Um, EKG looked okay. He, she said that doesn't mean anything really, though. Your heart can look like it just performing fine, and you can still have congestive heart failure. Really? I did not know that in my records, it's that they have a history of congestive heart failure. New stuff. New stuff. Yeah. Because when I was in the hospital in June in ICU and stuff, they told my husband that they had run all kinds of tests, and I didn't have any signs of that. Of course, it got, goes hand in hand. And she said sometimes that they'll run tests and it's not conclusive, so they can't just definitely okay. diagnose. So, yeah. Um, you know, because there's a lot of different, I didn't realize there's a lot of different types of congestive heart failure. Um, so we'll be ruling, going through that. She said by the looks of it, yeah, I definitely, you know, uh, look like I, I have it, uh, a form of it. Um, but that I'm young enough and that we're catching it early enough. And she thinks it's a heart-lung issue. Um, because I have a history of asthma. And at one point in time, remember, Dr. Lawrence was kind of fishing around with possible COPD. Mm -hmm. And she asked me about that. I said, well, they didn't make a de definitive diagnosis because we are moving from Wyoming to Florida. So, and that's when I got off the nocturnal oxygen. So, um, of course, there'll be, you know, echocardiograms and sleep studies and possible catheterization and uh, some other fun stuff like that. But, so, you know, she said there's a lot of drug therapies. I'm sure some of you guys um, watching probably even have family members that have it or have some kind of heart issue. As we get older, we're going to have some issues, man. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot of stuff. I learned a lot of stuff about the edema and stuff, and it's all symptomatic of that, and the kidneys, and um, that when the edema is bad in the legs and stuff, it's also, I also I thought maybe I was imagining that I felt so full, you know, my abdomen. And she said, no, all your eternal internal organs will swell. And because um, we were talking about sometimes my trosamide works, sometimes it seems like it's not. And she said, well, it probably is, but it probably is taking the water weight off of your um, uh, abdomen. And also it won't absorb as much if it is doing that. The medicine itself won't absorb as much. Oh, okay. I'm not sure why, but... Okay. Um, there is something else they can give with terosamide, but that's something they don't want to have to do because that's really hard. Oh, one thing I didn't tell you is she told me that the what metro tritate that it does cause breathing problems in some people. She was not surprised because okay. she asked me if I had been on it okay. because she wanted to know if my Pulse always runs fast. Mm -hmm. My heart heart rate is it, yeah. and I said, "Yeah, it seems to run kind of fast." She wouldn't know if I'd been on that, mm -hmm. so they put that down as definite allergic reaction. <clears throat> I didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> Do you want my cup to put ice in? Oh, you're gonna put ice this. in that. Okay, yeah. thank you. Honey. Not you. Thank you. I'm on an ice kick lately, okay? Oh, he hadn't done this in a long time. <laughs> so, she wants me to take the next two weeks and really work on getting my edema down. Um, and if it's not starting to really come down, call back in. I guess there's some kind of test they can do to see how much um, water you're retaining all over your body, and also then if my wounds on my leg open up again, um, I know it's not real attractive, but it is what it is, man, to uh, 
there's a wound care place right next to them I would need to go to. Um, I guess, yeah, that's infectious disease, I think. Um, and also they do some uh, uh, exercise stuff there, too. Some therapy, some different therapy. So um, we'll see what happens. And then, of course, there'll be lots of tests being scheduled. So, and hopefully then a nephrologist will call. Because now now we have two doctors waiting on a nephrologist. Because she wanted to know if, if we had one. She wanted to know if I had a pulmonologist, and I said no. And then she wanted to know if I had was seeing, seeing a nephrologist. And I said, like, no, still waiting. So, now we got two doctors waiting for, yeah, the kidney people to, the kidney doctors to call. So, I'm going to concentrate next two weeks on my health, my home, and my marriage. Health, home, and hubby. Yes. Because sometimes you get so frazzled and you feel like everything is in such a big upheaval, you start to lose focus on what's really important. I'm not saying that everything else is not important. It is. But you have to have, those are the three things that are real primary to me in my life, is my home, everybody that lives in my home, and my health. Because if I don't have all three, then what, good is it? I mean, you know, if I don't have my husband, he's the only, he's the only husband I got. And it's, it appears to be it's legal to have multiple spouses, even if you're Mormon. I'm just kidding. If you're Mormon, please don't take offense. It was a bad joke, okay? I was thinking about sister wives. Sorry. I really do not mean to be offensive. Um, but if I don't have have that, you know, and Brad and I have been so upset by what others have done to us, and that's all I'm going to say on that. If you guys are friends of mine, you already know what I'm referring to. Um, and our health. And stuff, our home really reflects it. It's just a mess right now, guys. And we got to finish unpacking. And we got to put this home together. And, um, you know, so we can start doing some things we enjoy. Before we know it, it'll be spring. and It'll be time to get outdoors. And I plan on being outdoors. I want to do some gardening and... Do some planting and have some nice barbecues and all of that. I want to get healthy. Um, you know, she said, you know, watch the um, chest pain. Watch the uh, chest pressure, the dizziness, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, if... You know, do everything, you know, moderately. But especially the next two weeks, really. Oh, and she does want me to weigh myself every day. Don't think keep track because I should, if we're not seeing a reduction because of the water coming off, then. Do you know where the scales are? Oh, uh, yeah, I actually okay. do. So um, we'll be doing that. You know, I'm going to overcome this. I really, really like her, though. She was very optimistic and stuff, you know, so, you know, I'm going to keep, you know, going as hard as I can on this. You know, you and I have talked about that before, um, that the old time doctors from when we were kids. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> the old time doctors from when we were kids that... You know, so many of them had uh, the God complex, you know, and uh, they had the attitude of, I know everything. Or, no offense, but like in Wyoming, 
there are not that many specialists, so they really have the god complexes so bad. Yes, they are. I mean, uh, you know, and I mean like that. They were running behind. I assume maybe they had an emergency or something. I didn't complain because, you know, specialists do run behind. And, um, uh, but they didn't have a gosh complex at all. Super nice. Sat there, talked to me, you know, so that's what I'm going to do. So if you don't hear from me as much, is no offense. I'm just trying to put some priorities in my life. This move almost killed us. And I told Brad last night, I feel like it's been one thing after the other. And, but in some ways, we've been very blessed. And, you know, I feel blessed that we caught this early. Yeah. I feel blessed that we didn't catch it with me having a heart attack or a stroke. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, those are the questions they ask. Have you had a heart attack? Have you had a stroke? You know. Um, she had me turn my head to the left. And she was checking my neck. And somehow she can tell how much swelling I have. Really? By watching the veins in my neck. Wow. And she goes, oh, yeah, you still have quite a bit of swelling. Wow. So, I guess. When I was thinner, I would do this. You could see all the. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It looked pretty gross, actually. But. Oh, what she told me. I'm going to tell all you people this, that for all of your 64 ounces of water at least a day, depends on if you're taking a lot of heavy dose Lasix like I do, because um, I'm pretty much maxed out on the dose you can take <laughs> for humans, um, that anything you drink counts. It doesn't have to be water. It doesn't have to be just flavored water. She said, your coffee count. She said, even your soda. She said, soda. I always say pop. She said, soda counts. And I said, oh, really? I said, a lot of people tell me that just, you know, makes you thirsty or that that just, you know, uh, has way too much sodium and stuff. She goes, no, it counts. She said, I love my soda. It counts. So there you go. Everybody that was writing me before about me drinking Soda and I and and granted you shouldn't drink like a ton of it. All I drink is all and all Brad drinks is sugar free. It all counts. So you know, there you go. But that's what we got going on. Um, I don't expect we're gonna get much done in this house today. It's, it's already seven o two. I do have some more. We do have some stuff in the in the. Uh, bedroom that we got to pick up so you know you don't trip you know we're still debating on whether or not separate I think I think maybe separate bedrooms because you know so we both have a whole bed but maybe you know more cuddle time don't you think sounds good to me you know because uh you love to cuddle and stuff but then when it's down to the business of sleeping yeah. You know. We both got big mouths, so if we need each other, we can, we can, you know. Right. And, um, but, so anyway, we're working on that. Um, like I said, I need a couple weeks just to focus on my home, my health, my marriage, spending more time, you know, us, you know. As close as Brad and I are sometimes, and I guess maybe that's why our marriage survives, is you have to kind of take, take a step back every so often and and refocus that number one priority is your spouse. Um, you know, because at any kind of health event shows it to you too because everything else is nice. But when you get sick and you have a serious health event, 
Who's going to be there for you? Who's going to be there for you? Who are you going to call? Who are you going to want to be Ghostbusters? Yes, Brad. Me. Grumpy. Yeah. He wearing his grumpy shirt. But, yeah, I mean, seriously. I mean, you know, on your hopefully not deathbed, who are you going to have there? Who is going to be there for you? That's the person you need to make sure that you have a good relationship with. And then with whoever you believe in, whether you don't believe in anybody, you believe in a higher power, whoever that is, you know. Like I said, I don't discuss religion or politics. But, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here. I'm doing this diamond painting thing, going in his bathroom. And, um, you know, and I got another one coming that I'm going to have in his room. Right, hon? Uh -huh. And I think he's kind of excited about decorating the, your bedroom, too. Um, Aren't you? I am, you know, and... Like, okay, different things is, okay, we are going to have separate bedrooms, but he's just probably going to come back and hang out and in my bedroom for a bit in the evening, you know, until we're both ready to go to, you know, cuddle and go to, then go to sleep. Um, but, uh, he does, he doesn't really like to sleep with animals. I love it. I love sleeping with my animals. Brad really doesn't. And that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with either, either or, but you know, he, he thrashes around a whole lot and stuff, and he doesn't want to hurt hurt them. He doesn't want to hurt me. Um, uh, he likes it. He likes a virtual wind tunnel, man. <clears throat> it's like, I know, he's going to take that big fan and put it in his room. He will have a wind tunnel, and he already said he can probably shut off his heat vent. I don't know if he will or not. Then you won't get the air conditioning when I turn it way down, honey. Oh, that's true, too. <laughs> but, um, you know, there's just differences like that. Like, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't sleep with his door shut, perhaps. So he can keep the animals out. Um, you know, I sleep with my door open because the animals got to go to and fro. To and fro. To and fro. <laughs> you know. What about fro and two? I get so excited when we come home, like, and so does he, though, because, you know, dogs are all a buzz, because, you know, mom and dad are all, you know, and, uh, but it'll be good. I can't wait to have an, a place, an uh, art, like, I need that badly. I need to get back to creating, he needs to get back to creating, huh, honey? Mm -hmm. So... <clears throat> He's going to go run some errands tomorrow morning, and I'm going to stay home because I need to take water pills. Because it's been three days now that I haven't, and I also want to get started on getting this house straightened up, you know? So, um, anything else, hon? No, I think you got it. I think you got it all covered. I mean, um, I agree with you. Is, uh, one of the things that you and I have to do is you and I have to get back to what's important. You know? You gotta and, go back to basics. Yeah. And uh, as for what's important, it's not anything that you've done entirely. It's not anything that I've done entirely. Um, but it's stuff we've both done and we both need to take care of it. Right. You know? You we, know. And you gotta go back to what I say go back to basics. When you got together with your spouse, when you're first dating, it's new and exciting because you block everything else out. You can't get enough of each other. You, you know, your friends don't hear from you. You know, everybody's like, oh, they're in love. They're just, and sometimes you need to take a step back and go, you know what? We need to go back to the basics. You know, Brad needs to take me out on some old fashioned dates. You know, because that would be nice. Yeah. And, you know, 
we need to start enjoying life. I mean, more. We need to, you know, we, but we got to get this house. Yeah. We got to get this house. Well, who, uh, it was funny the number of people that were so shocked that I was getting married. You know? Yeah, man. So, just, you know, because, because, um, Teresa became so important to me so fast that I just wanted everybody to know that, hey, she's the one. He about scared me off because we know more than Matt, you know, and he's he was the first guy to ever send me flowers. He sent me roses. And, um, you know, yeah, I mean, he's, he's inviting me out to, a di to, I mean, a nice dinner, I mean, and stuff. We're not talking McDonald's drive through here. We're talking <laughs> nice dinner, and like uncomfortable, fancy dinner. And I'm like, please don't do that anymore, because, uh, first of all, I knew it had to just be obscenely expensive. And, you know, I was really uncomfortable in that kind of atmosphere and stuff. And, and uh, you know, I knew that, you know, move, move, we, move. especially in the Wyoming area at that time, we're going through a recession and, uh, you know, everything. But, uh Yeah, I mean, he about scared me off because next thing I know, he'd want me and me his mom. And I'm like, whoa. Well, first thing that scared me was he gave me a key to not only his apartment, but also his truck. Now, when a guy gives you a key to his truck right off the bat, I didn't ask for it or anything. Nope. I'm like, what? I had never had anybody, you know. It was like, I'm newly divorced and, and you know. My kids were looking a fright when I met him because they were getting over chicken pox. And this is before the vaccine or anything. And this is before the clear, um, what's that stuff called? Calamine or Calamine or lotion. Or this is before the clear kind. So it was that, that creamy, that kind of pink. Yeah. And it's brown, scary looking stuff. And my youngest daughter even had chicken pot so bad they had it in her on her scalp and in her ears and just and I don't know if he thought maybe that they'd been bitten to death or or I'm surprised you didn't run for the hill. Well and then instead another, of flirting with me and I laughed at him and walked off. And another thing is uh, the oldest had decided to uh, no, she didn't do that till after you and I met, because remember we were talking on the phone? No, I don't. Yeah. We were talking on the phone, and uh, I reached down to touch Kim's hair. You know how you stroke the back of your, your child's hair, and it came it came off? <laughs> <laughs> her sister had cut her hair, and yeah. But, um, yeah, and then, like I said, he wanted me to meet his mother. And that about scared me off, meeting his mom. I had no idea what I was getting into. And he wants the cat to move because she's giving him the stink eye because she really loves her cat food right now. I mean, she really loves this stinkiest pate. Like, it, it's just, mmm, it's, it's, Smelling up the whole front room right yeah. now. Lord almighty. It's the Frisky's fish paste. Mm. Like the bottom of an old hooker's panties or something. Oh. I don't know. That was gross. Well, I can't help it. Oh. It's bad. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. My nostrils are not happy now. That's a good wine. So anyway, that's our story. That's what we're going to be doing. You know, instead of snapping each other's faces all because we're stressed, we're going to, you know, be nicer to each other. Right, Brad? Yes, we are, Teresa. <laughs>
don't know what I have on the side of my mouth there. But wasn't that nice, though? Yeah. Did you hear him talking to the dogs? He's scooting over to get there. What, what are you feeding them tonight, sir? Uh, canned dog food. Hmm. I was going to give them some of the pouch stuff, but uh, there was a quite enough rice left. Oh. These guys look so emaciated. I hate to have them. I don't want them to start. Charlie is so excited, aren't you, Charlie? Charlie, are you hungry? You can tell everybody how you're hungry again, Charlie. Tell them. Charlie. <coughs> oh, are you hungry? <coughs> really? <coughs> how hungry, Charlie? <coughs> I love it when he's barking at you and he's looking cross-eyed. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, but you know who used to really look cross-eyed? Max. Yeah. Oh, Lord, that greyhound. He just... He was <laughs> such a beautiful dog, but... Stupid. The boy wasn't he was too not bright. very bright, the boy man. Wasn't too bright. I mean, that's why they have to chase that rabbit like that, because, you know, anything else get them all Twitter painted. So, anyway, that's my story. That's all I got to say. I'm going to save the rest for another day. Ooh, that rhymed. Aren't you glad, Brad? I am. Brad. Sam. Loved. Waiting out in the Jeep for two and a half hours. <coughs> Charlie. You feel my pain, don't you, Charlie? Charlie is barking at Brad to hurry up and feed him. Charlie. <coughs> he is. He's, <coughs> he's standing out there barking at Brad in the kitchen to hurry up and feed him. Aren't you, Charlie? Charlie. <coughs> <laughs> is that truly necessary? Charlie, are you hungry? <coughs> Remember, too, Max, when his tail would really get wagging, and he might back himself, like, in the oh, back yeah. with his tail, and then he'd turn around, like, who did that? Yeah. Yeah, so. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope that you're staying warm, dry, and, I don't know, <laughs> and if you want to take partake until 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. Go through me since he is having a clearance sale on a lot of their stuff. You, you, so I will put the link up here and then in my description in the very top and you go to my party and then you go down to clearance and they're having like like if you buy the Scentsy bars you can get 10 of them for 40 bucks right now which is just a great price. You don't want to select ones, of course. And I don't know. They were pretty hammered when I got mine. So, you know, and they're selling other stuff, too, clearance items. So you might want to, you know, grab some while you can. So, anyway, love you guys. And I do cherish your friendship so very much. And I think you guys are awesome. And say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys. <laughs>